All right, home. Let's see, Ligaya. Ligaya. Guys, I'm home. <gasps> Nagaya, hi, hi, look at you. Oh, she's like resting down here because it's her bedtime. You wanna come? Step up, step up. It's me, it's me. Yes, oh, yes. It's me. <laughs> yes. Look who's just about to go to bed. Won't you be back? Looks like you ate a lot. Your crop is full. Oh, and you're blushing. I can't wait to take you for a walk tomorrow. Yes, we missed you. <laughs> My boy squad, we are once again reunited with the bird. And it's past your bedtime. I know, I know. She wants to go back. Good morning, Mabuhay Squad! Yes! Oh, so great to be back home here in Manila, Philippines, right? Home sweet home and reunited with the baby. Mm -hmm. The guys, are you happy to be on this walk? I know I am, and I've missed you so much. Mm -hmm. By the way, guys, if you're just joining us, my name is Mikey Bustos. Welcome to the channel. We're here in beautiful Manila, Philippines. I'm originally from Toronto, Canada. This is Ligaya, my African grey parrot. And uh, please, do feel free to join the Mabuhay Squad, our family, by hitting the subscribe button. Join us if it feels right. And don't forget to hit the like button too, guys. It really helps us if you enjoyed this video and leave me a comment too. Mm -hmm. So if you've been following the vlogs, you know we just got back from an epic, epic trip from Japan. Guys, wasn't that crazy? That trip in Japan like changed me somehow. It was such a beautiful, beautiful escape and adventure. Oh, and I always feel this way after coming back from these very fulfilling trips. Like somehow I'm changed inside, you know, like knowing that that world exists and in, in this same world, you know, Japan is just, just awesome. If you haven't been following the Japan series vlog, do feel free to by clicking this playlist after the vlog. I'll leave it right there. What a mind-blowing experience. What was your favorite thing about Japan? For me, there's so many things. Like, at the end, Nami, our tour guide, was like, so I have to write a report uh, to submit to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the government body that invited us to vlog in Japan. And we ended up just listing everything. Like, literally, everything was just mind-blowing in its own unique way. I wanted to thank you guys. You know why? Because we asked during the dinner with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Japan, how they had heard of us. Like, you know, I mean, they reached out to us last year to come to Japan. They invited us. So we figured, like, how, how did you guys hear about us? You know, do you guys watch our Filipino comedy videos? And turns out, Mr. Matsu was in the Philippines many years ago, and he was at a talk by a professor here in Manila. And that professor, during his talk, showed our adobo video. Have you seen our adobo frozen pair Adobo, adobo, I make you slip and investigate. Adobo, adobo, her secret to amazing taste. But yeah, ever since then, I guess he's he told us that we stuck in his head, and that's when they had considered to invite us, and they finally did last year, and it finally came to fruition just this month. So. I, I really need to thank you guys because if it weren't for you guys watching our videos, no matter what, our Ants Canada videos, the parody videos, these vlogs, we would not have come within the radar of these VIP bodies. So thank you. Thank you guys so much, really. And here's to more adventures, guys. Yes. 
Legaya, were you missing me? The guys, that was the longest we've been apart. One week. Yeah. And you did so well. I was watching all the footage of you. Mm-hmm. While I was gone. So good. You're used to these trips now. And the guys, I bought you something. Mm-hmm. So guys, during this trip, we've instructed RJ sisters and Ate Elsie to not feed the long fruit that's yellow and has a peeling and rhymes with banana. <laughs> we wanted to decrease the amount of that fruit uh, because it's high in sugar. But as you know, <laughs> in yesterday's vlog, in Japan, before leaving Tokyo, we went to that luxury fruit place <laughs> and bought banana. Yeah, expensive banana. <laughs> But it, it was just cool. I, I just wanted to see what it's like. So um, we're gonna feed that today to Legaya. She hasn't had that fruit in a while. Maybe just once while we were gone. And uh, I'm interested to taste it too. Like why is it that expensive? Seriously. Beautiful feathers. Look at you showing off your feathers to the Mabuhai squad. Yeah. Such nice feathers. We've really missed you, you know. Yeah. Mm hmm Oh, Yeah, we've missed you. <laughs> Do you miss going on these walks? Now, initially, Ate Elsie was supposed to take her on a walk, like, while we were gone. But then we changed our minds, because as you recall, the day before, someone is, was accusing me of stealing their African grey parrot, saying that this parrot was theirs. <laughs> No! So I guess they've watched the vlogs finally and they have not returned since. I do hope they have found their African Grey though. Now speaking of which, as you know, I've been, you know, practicing her flying through my hallway, in my place, even outside a little bit with the leash because I'd like to build her flying muscles. Yeah, um, not too sure if I will ever be free flying her, like outside, outside, but she will need flight muscles, especially when we move to the new house, which is being built now, where she will have access to a three-story aviary, a six meter by six meter one. So it's quite large. So she has to know how to fly around. You know what I'm saying? Flying around is super Super important. Now, during my training with Lekaya, you might recall Bird Tricks. Do you remember Bird Tricks? Jamie and Dave, who are professional bird trainers who free fly their birds and do training for free flight. Well, Jamie reached out to me and I'm so excited because we're gonna start to do a training program where if she were to escape, like that poor family's bird, African Grey, that escaped, you know what I mean? That she could fly back to us. Isn't that exciting? So I'm excited to commit <laughs> to learning with Jamie from Bird Tricks who has agreed to start this training program with Legaya and I through Skype. So this is gonna be really exciting. Legaya, we're gonna start training you like properly instead of like just what I think is right. So that if you were to escape because accidents do happen, you'll come back to me. Isn't that exciting? I'm very excited about this guys. What do you guys say? Are you excited? I know I am. All right guys. So, what lies in this bag are very pricey fruits. Like, uh, it's up there. She has no idea what we bought her from Japan. Expensive luxury bananas. Yes. Oh, I heard her poo, which means he's gonna attempt to fly soon. Oh, and she's hungry now. She's eating seeds. Okay, you can eat your seeds while I taste this. No, guys, she hasn't had bananas in a few days. But let's see what this luxury banana tastes like first. Okay, okay, the first thing I notice is that... Oh, holy, you're ready. You remember what this is, huh? Oh my gosh, the skin is so smooth. I don't think I've seen a banana with skin this smooth. Okay, now I understand why it costs that much. You remember this, huh? Okay, come on my shoulder first. Thank you. Let me open it. Where, how do you open an expensive banana? Okay, there. Okay. Oh my, it's so fluffy. Guys, look at this. It's so fluffy. They're like fibers. Is this like a special breed of banana? I mean, all most bananas are Cavendish bananas, right? So, okay, wait. Let me try it first and then you can have some. <laughs> Guys, I'm laughing because it tastes like an ordinary banana. <laughs> it just tastes like a normal banana. Paid almost 20 bucks for this banana. I mean, I have tasted sweeter bananas here in the Philippines than this. What's the big deal? What do you think, the guys? Is it good? Hmm? It's not as sweet. Maybe that's what makes it expensive. 
fact that it's not sweet. Mm, it's all right. Okay, the guy is engaged and active. So I'm gonna do some recall training now. Let's go into the hallway. All right, she's on the stand. She's eating a bit of banana. Come on, the guy, come. Come, come, come. Good girl, yes, good girl. Wow, she reared up very quickly. One more time. Come on, the guy. Come, come, come. <laughs> she comes at me like a bullet now. Hey Gaia, cuddle time. Mm -hmm. Before bed. Oh, how I've missed this. Thank you for waiting for me and not plucking your beautiful feathers. I think you will grow up to be a very confident bird. A bird that can adapt to change. There are times when I'm not around. You take care of yourself, right? Like the Japanese, they're independent. They can take care of themselves very early in life. Ah, it's great to be back. <laughs> Time for sleep, sleep, sleep. <laughs> okay guys, the child is asleep. <laughs> and guess what? I've been eating salads again. By the way, never gained weight in Japan. Like I was eating noodles and all sorts of carbs, drinking every night. Did not because Japanese people have eat small servings and the food is generally like pretty much all healthy. Tons of vegetables crazy variety they eat so well in Japan it's no wonder that they have one of the longest living life expectancies you know the average life expectancies in the world I think they're number two but anyways got this salad and it's Japanese themed salad it's like got like soybeans in it and even the salad dressing is the same salad dressing we would eat in Japan and mm, so good purple cabbage mm. Mm -hmm. Even the buckwheat noodles, you know the, what is it, the sobe noodles? Mmm, I miss Japan. Mm, so good. Alright guys, now we are in a very special place. Mm -hmm. And I think you guys will be quite presently surprised to find out where we are now having dinner. Check it out. 